Incredible, isn't it? Incredible sport. Way to say three this game, love it? 40. He's lost two points. He's done something that we haven't seen before in the whole match. The break. First base. And, uh, following the first might serve this passage of play All credit to, to him, him though. Hello, everybody. It's Felix here from the Tennis Brothers, and I'm about to be interviewed on Radio Wimbledon by Marcus Buckland. I can't wait, so let's go. The Tennis Brothers, which were formed in 2015 and who are the number one junior tennis influencers in Europe. Their account has 65,000 followers across three channels, 3 million YouTube viewers a year. Um, Adidas, Head, Prodirect Sport, Wilson and Biddy Badu have all done business with them. They provide daily content. Up to 50 fan questions a day are answered. This is big business, and Felix, we're delighted to have you with us uh, in the booth. Good afternoon. Yeah, he's on it already. He's on it. He's on it. Um, we'll, we'll obviously keep half an eye on what's happening uh, in this particular service game. But when did you first become interested in tennis, Felix? Uh, well, for, I was looking around a few sports, kind of to see which ones I really enjoyed. And I went to this tennis lesson in someone's back garden, and I really just loved it from the first hit of the racket really and I love the way it was kind of you had to use your brain to kind of overcome situations but also it's very physical at the same time and I just love that about tennis straight away. And, and what sort of hopes, I know you've already had a very successful junior career, what, what sort of hopes have you got with regards uh, to your tennis career? Uh, well obviously I'm hoping to become obviously the best I can be but as in a numerical number I'd like to obviously become number one in the world as everyone's main goal but I think that for me as well would just to, to get on the tour really to play some big tournaments would really be dream come true really. You've got to dream big haven't you otherwise there's no point uh, in pursuing any sort of uh, sporting ambition. We're here at Wimbledon. Is this your favourite Grand Slam? I have to say it is yeah it's on home turf. Uh, I love the atmosphere, the tradition as well and grass is my favourite surface. I love, just love to watch it. It's really quick and fast and never really gets boring. I think that's really why it's my favourite Grand Slam. Absolutely. You've also got a younger brother Lucien. Is he as uh, enthusiastic as you when it comes to tennis? Uh, yeah just the same as me. He really loves it all. Every minute of it. Uh, we both play together sometimes. We're very competitive, but we try to keep that down wherever possible. And I know with uh, the help of your father, Michael, um, you set up Tennis Brothers in 2015. What was the idea behind the development of this project in the first place? I think really the idea at the start of it was just to kind of share our tennis journey as we grow up and go along. It had never really been done before, so we started off maybe one, one photo every month and as it kind of progressed and got bigger uh, we started to post more and saw the people were interested in it and thought it would be a really good idea to reach a large community and show a lot of people what other people wouldn't really have the chance to see. Yeah, and you know, this is big business now. We were talking to Patrick Muratogli a, a few days ago. One of his superstars now is Stefano Tsitsipas, and Patrick was making the point that, yeah, he's a great tennis player, but also he, he's got the rest of his life sorted out because he's heavily embraced uh, YouTube, all the new modes of communications these days. So you're blazing a trail that a lot of the pros are now following. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, it's going to be one of the biggest uh, parts in the future uh, to show a lot of people kind of insights and different opinions on different things that maybe they wouldn't be able to see. Uh, and yeah, we thought it would be good. Yeah. Should have, with regards um, to Tennis Brothers, 65,000 followers across three channels, 3 million YouTube views a year. A business deals with Adidas, Head, ProDirect, Sport, Wilson. Biddy Badu, all the daily content. Uh, one of the things I've seen is, is some very helpful tennis tip videos, uh, which you guys really enjoy making. Yeah. Certainly, you, you sense the enjoyment when you put those videos yeah. together. Uh, yeah, I really like uh, kind of helping other people out, kind of showing them what they need to do. Uh, as you mentioned, we get quite a lot of people asking every single day, uh, "How do you do a grip?" or "How do you hit a forehand?" And I just think uh, that these kind of instructional vid instruction instructional videos kind of help them to improve as players as well. And, and do you get recognised, bearing in mind how many videos you're putting out and how many um, followers and, and viewers you have now, do you get recognised when you go to junior tournaments? Um, sometimes. I mean, even here at Wimbledon, a few people came up to us, asked for a photo. Um, but 
a lot of people on the kind of tennis tour that know us as people obviously know about tennis brothers as well uh, so they'll all know but in general quite a few people at tournaments know us even though sometimes i don't know them what's the strangest question uh, that you've been asked what sort of uh, feedback that's been really strange that you've received can you remember anything um i, th I think once someone asked um I think it was kind of why do you not like wristbands and I found that a bit strange because I never really said anything about it but I, I do sometimes I generally don't wear wristbands okay um, so they made the assumption that you didn't like them yeah but I think a lot most of the questions are always kind of how do you get sponsors and kind of how do you get forehand a lot of those really basic things that uh, we obviously make videos about and how did you get sponsors what did you, did you do to get all these big multi-million dollar deals <laughs> um, well I think obviously the social media really helps to kind of give that brand exposure on all of our platforms and I think that really helps it as well obviously I'm playing and obviously trying to become uh, well, number one in the country, really, and I think that that also kind of helps towards that. Yeah, your dad's quite uh, quite a good negotiator as well, isn't he? He's he's a little bit of the power behind the throne. The thing, one thing that really interested me recently, you you had a bit of a freak injury. You managed to break two toes. Yeah. I think not playing tennis, playing was it playing football? Yeah, I was playing a football uh, kind of. I was in a PE lesson at school, and it was a five-a-side football match. And in the last play of the game, um, I kicked another boy's foot while going for goal, and I ended up breaking two toes. So that's bad news, obviously, with a lot of tournaments uh, to come at, at the start of the summer. So you went out to your your social media audience and and came up with. Um, a physio to, to uh, fix things for you. Yeah, and a S and C coach, strength and condition coach. Um, so a lot of people reached out to us, but we decided to go with James Padfield from Sutton Tennis Academy, who will basically over the next few weeks uh, try to get me as match fit as possible, really. And hopefully he'll be able to do that. I also saw Luke from Bodies Under Construction. She does a physio to see if it's my foot's healing in the right way. Um, my toes are kind of flexible enough to uh, be able to play tennis as soon as possible. Kevin Anderson has held on to his serve, by the way, on number one court. So in a moment, Federer will serve again to stay in the second set at 5-6. So this is perhaps the way forward. You have a, a, a social media community. You, you can help each other, I guess, in, in different ways, which is a really nice way to build further bridges. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. And I think that you meet a lot of people as you go on, uh, different opportunities, different experiences. And it, I think that's really healthy. Well, Felix, thank you very much indeed for, for coming to join us. We wish you all the best with Tennis Brothers and we, uh, we wish you all the best with your own career. Um, I know you're 15 now and you have lots of ambitions that three years down the line, your own career will be going great guns and, and goodness knows how many viewers and uh, followers you'll have by then. But thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Marcus. Felix Mishka from uh, Tennis Brothers here on Centre Court. Kenny Shikori is serving at 40. So I just had my interview with Marcus on Radio Wimbledon. I think it went really well. I was a bit nervous. Um, I did quite a few errors, uh, but I think it was a really good experience overall. And hope you enjoyed this video. See you next one. Bye.